All right, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is just a quick demo of the Los Angeles parking app. So this is the icon. Uh, when the user clicks on it, it opens up the screen. It gets you all the uh, parking garages in Los Angeles. You can even zoom out, and it uh, not only covers downtown, but also covers you know pretty much all LA County. But um, so basically, you could uh, click on a garage, and you could find out how much it is an hour, how much it is for the daily. Um, you can also search by an address. So if I search by street, and you don't have to put Los Angeles in, you could just search, and it'll automatically <clears throat> pinpoint that marker. And then you can also find the closest garages by clicking on the list view. You can find out the cheapest by the hourly, by the day, or the closest to you. Um, when you do click on a garage, you can find out more information like the name, address, phone number, hours of operation, uh, the weekend, the weekday rates, the daily, the monthly, any specials they may have, type of garage, payment. You could uh, add garage reviews um, really simply. Uh, you can also submit a picture of a garage, and you can also report incorrect rates, and that will be changed. Um, also, along with the garages, I got uh, the meters. So each uh, zone is a different color that corresponds to a different price. So to find out the prices, you just click this, and uh, it'll tell you how much is an hour or how long you could park there. Um, there's also the metro. Um, so the public transportation schedule, you could click on the station. shows you where it is. You get, get directions, find out how much it is. The next train, you can also search by times. Another feature I have is the gas stations. Gas stations, you could find uh, the cheapest price. So right here, Shell Oil, it's 340. You could find where it is, the directions, and the last time it was updated. And if you're trying to find the cheapest grass, you just click on the list view, and it's sorted from most to or from least to most. So it goes from 290 all the way down to 350. Another feature I have is uh, the Find My Car. So you could. Uh, these two are used for GPS, or you can use the quick links, like record a memo, take a photo, add quick notes. But if you use the GPS, you go park me, you have satellite and standard views, hit park me, your car shows up, you could drag it to the correct location, if it's not in the correct location, and then save it. And then when you're coming back to your car, you hit where did I park, and it'll give you turn-by-turn -turn directions back to your car. You choose either walking or driving. Um, another feature I have is uh, the towing, so you can actually search if your vehicle got towed, and you can enter your license plate, your all that information. You could also find out how much it, the, uh, how much you're going to have to pay, and you could actually find the phone number to call see if your car is actually there. Um, a parking timer, so if you park on the street, you set the parking timer, and when it hits a default. 10 minutes, there will be this text message that will pop up and it will work if the app is closed. Um, and then there will be an alarm that goes off. And the last thing I have is uh, parking spots. It pulls all the uh, parking information from Craigslist. So if you live in LA you, or live in downtown and you're looking for a monthly spot, you could type in downtown and the most I want to pay is let's say 200. Then it will search that and it will only bring up the ones that match your list. And then you could click on this. You could find out where it is. Uh, you could email the poster and I could load a map, but sometimes the addresses don't work. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, thanks.